Hello everybody and welcome to this video with myself and Peter and we are here to look at the Bakun Beta clarinet which is the first in their wooden range of clarinets. So who is the Beta for? It's really aimed at those people making their first upgrade from a plastic instrument, um, whether you're going through the associated board grades or whether you just play for fun. Um, changing to a wooden instrument can make a big difference to the sound. Can do, absolutely. Um, yeah. You know, obviously, wood is a natural thing, and and it, it it vibrates and resonates like that. Whereas, obviously, something that's uh, you know plastic or ABS resin, whatever material they've used, you know, it, that has a kind of I suppose a natural inherent sort of resistance mm. within it, um, and and can also kind of give a fairly dull dullish sort of sound. Um, but yeah, I think I think when when there are students that are are upgrading from that, you know, perhaps they get to sort of grade three, grade four level um, and, you know, find that those uh, early beginner instruments don't serve them very well. Yeah, they all, I mean, certainly in my experience with the with some of the students I've taught, when they've tried a wooden instrument, they, their eyes light up and they think, wow, this is really different. It's a sort of eureka yeah, moment, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. yeah. And know. if you're a parent out there uh, and thinking, oh, crikey, I have to spend more money? I've already bought one. Yeah. Um, honestly, uh, we have this in the shop a lot. If you, if you come down and, and you hear uh, your child playing on a wooden instrument, it's, you will hear the difference. And I get lots of parents, I don't, I'm not very musical, you'll hear it, yeah. don't worry. Um, but what Bakun have done, it's quite clever, they've, they've kept the weight off this instrument to, to a degree, so that in that transition period, as you get used to playing a wooden instrument, you're not suddenly having to feel something a lot, lot heavier. Mm, yeah. And re as a result of that, and when we talk about the weight, we're talking about having the ringless barrel here, which loses a little bit of weight, uh, and actually not having any extra key work on, on the actual system in terms of an alternate key here or anything on the back. It allows just the instrument to blow really freely. And yeah. This is what we find with this beater in particular, isn't it? It's quite resonant free It blowing. is, yeah, it is. I mean, and, and certainly, you know, uh, for, for a young student, you know, that they, they, they would really hear the difference and feel the difference, actually, I think. Um, if it just noodle a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just has power in it, you know. I mean, I think that's a that's a common thread throughout the whole Bakun line is there's this real weight in sound, um, irrespective of whether it's the top end Mobas, Lumiers, or the Beaters um, and, and the Alpha, which of course we've done a video on as well. That's right. Yeah, we've um, talked about the different models available from Bakun, and I think uh, Pete's absolutely right. There is a consistency, and that's very much down to the build quality and the principles behind how they build and the machinery that they use. They've invested very heavily in very expensive CNC mm -hmm. machines and in a sort of multi-step process that ensures consistency throughout. So from our point of view as the shop, uh, we're very happy with these sorts of instruments because one after another they will play very similarly. And if you're a teacher recommending an upgrade, yeah. it's really good to know that a beta will be a beta, a protégé will be a protégé. Absolutely. And there's none of this having to try multiples to, to find one. Because you, right. you shouldn't need to. No, you shouldn't, no, you, not in this day and age. You know, yeah. you really shouldn't have to go through, you know, five or six, you know, whatever. Um, you should just be able to pick up one of those models and it to be blown, blow straight out of the box, as it were. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, these instruments do that. So a couple of bits of spec, um, they use a water resistant black pad uh, on the beta, which is the same pad they use on the rest of the range, bar one, which is a very custom one, which we've done a separate video about. But in terms of this area, those black pads are called Valentino pads, and they're a, they're a slightly different type that Bakun use, they're not available generally, but they are water resistant, like I say. And if you've got a player who's upgrading and who's practicing and they're at school or you're yourself and you're at band or whatever, it just means those pads will last longer than a standard skin yeah. uh, sort of pad Absolutely. as well. And it'll look better for longer as well. They do have a really neat adjustable uh, thumb rest on the back, which is very strong. Uh, it's a small thing, you know, but this is the same quality they put from the very base model up to the very top model. And it's, it's a really good thumb rest, very strong with the, thumb, uh, with the hook, sorry, for the sling yep. as well. And also the bell on this instrument is what they call the Bakun wooden bell. 
it is a, basically a thinned down version of the custom traditional bell, which is available as well. Now, you can also uh, add other barrels and bells so, so to upgrade this beta later on. One other tiny point we just wanted to hit as well, just goes to the actual thought process with Bakun, which is really clever. These keys, uh, a couple of the keys actually on the instrument, are made in two pieces as opposed to one. And the, the reason for that actually is it adds extra strength. And it's really important, isn't it, on these, which are often grappled with That's by right, people. yeah. I mean, if you, if you imagine, you know, a, a, a 10 year old child who, who, um, who's upgrading to something like this, 10, 11 year old, they might not necessarily uh, take great care in um, the, you know, assembling and the dis disassemble of the instrument. Uh, and so, yeah, uh, as, as, you, as you point out, they, they are reinforced. Um, in order to um, eliminate any kind of um, bent keys, uh, I think the register key has the same here, yep. um, and the two the two levers there, and of course um, the the Bakun logo there. Um, I mean, obviously it looks great, and it's it's uh, you know a great bit of advertising, but it does actually serve a practical purpose. You know, when when a um, you know a child is is putting the instrument together, there's a tendency to grab the instrument here. And of course, what you don't want is this rod here bending. Mm. If that bends, then these two pads are going to be completely out of alignment and you're not going to get any notes working in the low register. Um, so what that really does is it, it gives a, a place for, for somebody when putting the instrument together to, to um, you know, obviously to, to grip, but it's also acting as a reinforce, re, to reinforce that pillar there basically. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And it's that attention to detail which we appreciate um, because not everybody thinks through those things from a manufacturing point of view. Uh, and like Pete mentions, actually this, these are the most common issues we sort out on the clarinet in our workshop. Uh, people bring the instrument in where these keys have gone out of adjustment and these two now don't seat together and it makes going over the break, which everybody always has a hang up about already, even harder because if these aren't seating you're losing air and it, that's you know, right. et cetera, yeah. et cetera. So we've all been around that loop. So. In summary, if you're looking at upgrading to a first wooden model, either if you're buying for a, a child or you're an adult who plays it and doesn't have to be for children, and you started on a plastic one, or you know what, I'm going to say it, even if you're just starting as an adult, just skip the plastic one. Yeah. <laughs> get, get straight to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. It'll save you buying another one later. Um, then the Beta is a really good option, and you still get those Bakun qualities, um, but at this price point. Mm. Cool. Um, Pete, do you want to give us a little bit more sure. to play us out? 